<laughs> Welcome back to everything from nothing. Uh, it's Halloween today. Uh, Sa- August Sawin. Is that? Is there? Shame is he? I got that. We have a guy here who's uh, not Irish. He's Argentinian, but he's going to be the guy doing all the Irish Celtic facts because uh, <laughs> he's uh, not Irish. Because um, he's Argentinian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who better? Yeah. yeah so it's uh, Sawin, but. Astro- astrologically wise astronomically, astronomically wise it's not no this year is on the 7th of november yeah, the, the, which is the really, actual date yeah but like what yeah so which is really cool we're also joined by uh roisin and jim we're going to be doing scarecrow building in a while with roisin and then we have jim who's a recurring guest uh who's going to tell a story or two um i don't know yeah so uh and Larry's coming in a bit to say a poem as well. Yeah, we have a few different things. We had like a few different things planned, but it's rain, and so we're kind of restricted with lots of stuff now. So we're going to make do it. We have two other we guests as well. To introduce them. Uh, oh, Michael and Cooper. Cooper. Michael yeah, and Cooper. Producer Michael is back from an extended vacation. Yeah, and we, we have, know not where, but anyway, <laughs> he's back. And we have lots of vegetables and fruits on the table. This is all our harvest from the year. Harvest time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah We've yeah. gathered in the crops. Yeah. yeah. And actually, yeah. And swept the streets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Offerings, we could call them as well. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And on that, like, gym as well, is there, like, is, do you know, like, the history that, like, it, it sowing being directly to do with the harvest, like, is it still the time of the harvest in the modern day or... I suppose it's a late harvest, you know, you know, yeah. the, the, the harvest of the corn would be over anyway in uh, September, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, I suppose Lunasa would be, you know, that. Um, yeah, yeah. But the late harvest, I suppose picking apples and all that would yeah, be yeah. this time, you know, and the leaves falling and um, uh, digging out this uh, snagging mangles long ago and turnips. Okay. That'd be and to dig in the spuds there around this time of the year in the gardens. Yeah, what, what does yeah. that mean? Snagging turnips. What does that mean? They used to say snagging turnips. You cut off the, the oh. leaves off them. Oh yeah, yeah. You pull them and you had a knife. Yeah, oh yeah. And then yeah. you'd cut the top and you'd you'd put um, four drills into one. Okay. And then you'd uh, you'd uh, come along with the horse and cart. That's yeah. mad. When I was young, and um, you'd have the wit of the cart, the horse and cart. Mm. So you'd throw up the mang- the turnips. Turnips would stick frost and everything. You could leave turnips out in the frost, but the mangles you couldn't. Okay. They had to be put under. They, they used to take them and put them on the side of a ditch. Yeah. And cover them with straw and rushes. What are, What are the mangles? They were like feather beet. Mm-hmm. They were they were like a like a beet in shape. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, right. But you couldn't you couldn't bleed them. You had to keep above the 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 green stalk. If okay. you bled them, they'd kind of they were apt to to, to rot. Okay. So they'd put a, stack them up about two yards wide and maybe two yards high in a nice curve. Yeah. You take the loads over with your horse and cart to the drill. Okay. To the yeah. Drills yeah. over to the edge of the garden and uh, but about this time of the year now they do the mangles. And what would you use oh, them right. for? Well, they were for, for, for fodder. Oh, for the cattle or yeah. something. Yeah, the, right. but they had to be protected from the frost, like okay. the spuds. The spuds had to be pitted. And were they like beet, which a high sugar content? Yeah, or whatever? Yeah, well, not. They had no. a, sh- a fair share of it, yeah, but yeah. Um, not as high as beet. Okay. Yeah. But uh, they were, they were, you'd use them in the springtime. Yeah. And they used to pulp them up with a pulp on. Oh, yeah, they yeah. like chips, you know, yeah, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. But uh, you'd bring them in, but they needed to be protected from the frost. Whereas yeah. the turnip, you could you could leave them grow away the whole winter. Yeah, well, mm. frost would come in and out of them. Yeah. It wouldn't take them at all. That's like parsnips. Yeah, parsnips are better. Like the more yeah cold the ground is, right. and the more frost they've had. Apparently, yeah. I sound like I'm a gardener. I've no, I've <laughs> yeah. what my farmer told me. Hey, come here, you said what, Halloween wasn't as big when you were a kid. No, it? no, Halloween was it was hardly non-existent when I was young. The only thing I suppose they introduced those customs from from England and America. Yes. You know, I've, 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 um, yeah. uh, they, they did do one old thing, the snap apple. Oh, the yeah, apple yeah, I remember that. Hanging yeah. down. And, uh, oh, my mother right. would, Was that when you try and bite the apple? Yeah, from your the hands. string. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in a pan of water. Oh, yeah, I've done that one. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, that was a bit of fun for children. But yeah. I'd say, my f- I'll tell you the one thing I remember about Halloween was, was, um, was um, all the prayers. Oh, lovely. They had a ritual of saying yeah. prayers. Yeah. 
uh, for the for the holy souls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They might have gone to purgatory and needed yeah. a bit of help. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a big thing. Oh, it? yeah. They used to say was prayers. Uh, I remember my aunt Mary now at home, and my father. He wasn't a, a very religious man, but yeah. he would he would join in. You know. Was yeah. it an All Souls Day? Or yeah, all that's right. All Souls and All Saints. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They were the two important, yeah. very yeah. big religious things, you know. Yeah. Religious Where does all hallows come from? Isn't yeah. that a hallow? It means holy, you know. Yeah. Okay, that's the same thing. Hallow. Halloween. Yeah. All right. You know. I remember that snap apple thing. Yeah, I remember losing a tooth doing that. Did you? Mm. That's how did you manage? Oh, that was, was loose. <laughs> 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 you mean like apple bobbing, like they're going about. That was water. one. Is it? Mm. So yeah, that one, and then we hang on a string. Same concept, except you're trying to get it with your mouth, but it's oh. on the string. So you imagine that's pretty hard too. It's probably I found that one harder than the water one. In the <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to do. What yeah. about brack? I don't think I've ever done it. Well, they oh had yeah, the, they had the brack. Yeah, well, and the ring in the brack. You did know. you have all that? Yeah, ah, we had that. Yeah, we had. We had that, uh, whoever would find the ring, you know. It's going to get married. Most young fellas, when young lads were shy about things like that, they didn't want to... Get the ring. They didn't want to get the ring. Because they didn't yeah. want to find it. Was that? So I never, I was looking for it. It was hidden in the black, but... If you got there was a different heart at that time with young fellas they were yeah. kind of yeah they'd, they'd rather not get the ring if they into it they'd be mortified would they I'd be the very same <laughs> ah, they were, so that's a long time ago now uh, the getting the ring meant you were going to get married was it Something yeah like that. and then what was it was a <laughs> stick as well you were going to, oh there was an old bit of wood or a bit of stick that, you're going to be lived to be an old man uh, oh it? yeah that's some, some <laughs> so what was the stick one the stick was you were going to live to be an old man but where it was wrong was it where yeah. would the stick come from? Like, I'm not sure. In the brack as well. Oh yeah, they'd yeah. stick oh, it right. in the wood. Oh right, bit of wood. Yeah, like a few twigs. And, and I think there was the was there brack. what else? There was yeah. a couple of other things. What? Money. Be wealthy, yeah. Money. Now, yeah, we wouldn't mind oh, getting the money. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so there'd be money in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So this is probably like yeah, because uh, yeah, that's that's the difference. There is we'd only ever had the experience of the ring because that was probably all homemade and people yeah. were putting yeah. whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, we've never done that. We used to put them um, like it's old English to put like it used to be like to put sixpence in the Christmas puddings yeah no yeah. it and if you found so sixpence dangerous. that meant like yeah like, like how many broken teeth and like in <laughs> blocked cool. esophagi <laughs> and things like that yeah that's bad. very safe so, um yeah we're actually joined by what's your scarecrow friend's name at kenny, uh, kenny. Yeah. yeah can you see kenny on the camera yeah <laughs> that's kenny uh um, as jim as a farmer do you think the crows would find Kenny friendly or would he be, they be scared off by him? I'd say both, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, could be, they could be attracted. The oh. female crows particularly. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good-looking scarecrow. He's good, yeah. Good looking. He's yeah. well turned out, like. Yeah, yeah. Fine shirt. Yeah. yeah. And Close in between attraction and fear. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And you just started doing the scarecrow uh, making recently, was it? Just this year, yeah. That's kind of, what made you think of getting into it? Was it just... Uh, I don't know, a bit of crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really crafts. cool. Yeah. I love seeing that stuff. It matches, like, I don't know, seeing, like, even the vegetable-y kind of the harvest. I don't know, it's really cool to see that. Like, it's more, um, I don't know what the word is, authentic or natural or something. Mm. Mm. It's less glittery and all that okay. stuff. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jim, you hardly have any story you could tell us here on Halloween Day that, like... I, uh, I have a story that I that I was just thinking of there before I came up to the house. Um... <laughs> There was a man one time down in the rag. Yeah. He died. And um, about a fortnight or three weeks after, around this time of the year, yeah, uh, there was a neighbour of his going home. There, uh, you know, there was no electric light or anything at that time. Yeah. So he was going home. And who did he meet? Only this man that had died. Yeah. On the road. And uh, he said to him, um, he got an awful fright, obviously, you know. But um, he said to the man, I owe a few pounds, he says, at the local shop. He says, and I can't get into heaven unless that's paid. And this was kind of a, felt it was a very genuine story because the, the man that told me this story, I knew him, and he, he, he it was off his father. They lived down just outside the rag. Yeah. Oh my God. So he said to him, will you pay off that bill, he says. It is the only chance do me a great favour. He was down in purgatory. Mm. And, um, wow. That was a, a story I heard. And the man, the son, thought it very authentic yeah. because his father was a serious type of man. Oh. And his son lived here in, years, in Tullas, died about 25 years ago. 
And I'd say that happened around 1900. Thank you. Yeah, but he, he didn't, the, the man who, 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 who met him, he didn't, he didn't live um, too long. He, he got an awful fright from this experience. Yeah. Yeah. And they said to, he was never in the better of it. <laughs> Of right. meeting. Did he go and do it? Did he go and pay the debt? Oh, he did. He did. He did pay the debt. But he never held back from your man. Yeah. Not even a thank you. Yeah. I wonder how much it was. Yeah. I wonder what, like, yeah, what Alice kind should, of cut off. It wouldn't be a hell of a lot that time. You know, yeah. people used to, to teak, as they used to call so, it. Get it on the book. So the pearly gates are quite strict. Oh, yeah, there very strict. That much. Too. Oh, sure. be allowed in. I don't know will any around, uh, anyone around here ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever had any uh, experiences close to home, out by your place or even... I've heard of lots of them. Yeah. Um, the tall black man was another one. Yeah. Um, meeting, the, meeting the tall man at the gate. What? Paddy Haid, my neighbour, the Haids, they live next door to us. Paddy was coming up the road one night. We lived in the Boreen, you know. Mm. Quite Boreen that time. There was only three or four houses in it. <laughs> in Siskin, and um, Paddy was telling me one night he was coming up the road from Neighbours and he saw the tall, this was a, a, a famous figure yeah, yeah. that people might have encountered yeah. uh, during their lifetime. Yeah. And um, he met this figure at the gate there, just above Whalens, there on the road where Whalens is yeah, now. Yeah. They used to call it Dermody's Gate. And um, uh, this tall figure, all in black, in, well, in, obviously in the night, you wouldn't you wouldn't discern the colours, but um, he, and he moved over to him, uh, but he says he disappeared then, mm-hmm. and there had been a sort of a, a murderous um, case down those fields about a hundred and fifty years before. No, right. Yeah, and they used to talk about that. My even my my grandmother um, often told my father uh, long before my time. Yeah. Or that's how people knew of it, you and know. Did you ever see him? The black oh, I never came across him. The only man I came across one night, a fellow was standing at the gate, knew I was coming up from a neighbouring house, yeah. and he stood in. Right. But I went over to, to, to see, investigate him. Yeah, right. But he turned out to be my neighbour, trying to frighten me. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and it was pitch black, but I suspected yeah. this was the case, you know. <laughs> he, he just left the house. We were down visiting yeah. Billy Whale, and we used to go there. It was <coughs> Whalen's was a great Cordiac house. People yeah. used to visit there. Yeah. And then <coughs> my uncle in Upper Church, he up at the mill where I am now, yeah. Jim at the mill, when he was a young fella, he said he saw the headless coach one night. No uh, way. Uh, over, overhead the river. Wow. Um, and um, people talked about those things, you know, yeah. the older people. Yeah. Um, I suppose since the electric light came in, I know. Uh, all those stories kind of have... Uh, yeah. My, yeah. My dad said his father saw the ban- or heard the banshee up at mm. uh, Wolfram Place. Really? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah. born and balling, yeah. Yeah, they said a man out there in Killeen one time, he was sitting... Uh, Jackie Cal's grandfather. He yeah. was sitting on a on a bench down in 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 Ballinahoe, yeah. and um, on the farm, and he heard the banshee cry, and he says, "I wonder who it will be, and who was it but himself?" Oh my God. He died the day oh, after. Geez. Yeah, that's mm. mad. Did you yeah. ever hear the banshee? Sure, we did. We heard. Uh, we, we did. We did. But you you know, it depends on the interpretation it you does, put on it. Does, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, you know. Is uh, that is that one of the things? If you hear it, then you're soon to be departed. Someone yeah. close, yeah, isn't someone it? Close. Or someone that you know is going. It's, yeah. Uh, According to some legends, the, the biggest more important Irish families had their own banshee, and they would like oh, yeah. wail whenever the head of the family was close to die. They would roam around the seat yeah, of the yeah. family and 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 pre-announce the death of the patriarch. That's so mad. But uh, yeah, yeah sure, it was so the banshee came into a lot of the songs, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, the banshee cried when our hero died mm. in the valley of Nachanur. Yeah. And um, they, it was they believed in it like uh, you know, they might have had a bit of skepticism, but at the same time they had a great belief in and my grandfather one time was coming home, he made out this black animal uh, appeared before him. My father told me this story. Down down the fields near the fort there. Down he was coming home across the fields one night and they just be in the figure of a black dog. Right. Uh, representing the evil spirit. Mm. And there was a story up about a Connolly man up in in um, in uh, Temple Big. Yeah. 
that uh, and the hound is drawn out on the stone up there inside temple big graveyard mm. oh. there's a hound drawn out on the stone yeah. in memory of this um event he was oh. go- taking butter to to the to the market in in tipperary and uh, he had his dog locked in yeah. and this spirit this black thing came out on top from seven and the horse oh. and um uh the, he was uh, like more or less representing the devil or yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Mm. who appears out of the blue only the dog he had locked in and attacks this um and kills this other dog yeah oh, wow. and, uh, in memory of him he had on the big gravestone there it's a big flat stone yeah. there going into temple bay graveyard that's up behind mary peeler's yeah, yeah, you know. there You'll see it, the first thing you go in there is the hound, the figure of the hound drawn out in the That's stone. Mad. Yeah. People did believe to a much a greater degree, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they used to be talking about that up around my grandfather on my mother's side from Anna Down in Galway. Oh, yes. And they used to be always telling ghost stories and stuff about what you'd see, you'd meet the devil on the road or whatever. Oh, yeah. But I remember we'd be terrified going home, like, <laughs> to houses because there was absolutely no light. You wouldn't mm. you'd be feeling the road with your foot yeah. to see where the grass is and where <laughs> yeah. the darkness of it all. And That's right. Oh, geez, you'd be, geez, by the time you get in, the, you, you'd be trying not to panic. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would huh? put your mind right. <laughs> so. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> there are lots of stories like that of people being benighted. Did you mm. ever hear that terror? No. Someone coming home across the field in the night time yeah. and there was no lights, of course, in the houses that might guide you. Yeah. So um, you'd lose your way, yeah. even if you were very familiar with the, with mm. the fields, yeah. you might lose your way. And um, the thing was to, you, you'd get panicked then. Mm. I knew mm. people that happened to myself. Yeah. I knew a fellow near us one time. Um, uh, it happened to him in the garden right beside his house. <laughs> And he just, he panicked. He was roaring and bawling all night. Couldn't find the gap out to the next field where he's out. That's was. mad. And, but the, the thing to do, if you knew about it, was supposed to sit down and turn your coat inside out. No way. Yeah. That would That's sort mad. It. Yeah, that would sort it. Okay. So change your mindset, maybe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah kind of makes yeah, you calm yeah. down for a minute. And <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's figure really that out. I think wow. as well, I still go to like... I don't think that the, the, the scariness of the dark or the, the sense of unknown is, I think it's still there, but like, uh, yeah, it's like because of all the lights and stuff we have now, people say, oh, that stuff's not real and stuff, but I don't know, not, uh, the majority of those people haven't spent much, not always as well, I mean, I'm not like being like that, but like, yeah, there's a lot, like, I, I don't know, I never believed in that stuff, but then I spent a lot of time in the dark, like in forests and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And sometimes, and it's not like every time, I'm not scared of the dark because sometimes I feel like safe and it's all good. But then sometimes there's a sense of, oh, there's something going you know, on do there. Do you remember when we had the fairy whisper on? Yeah, yeah. At noon. Mm. And he, he was talking oh, yeah. about the stray. So like the, when the fairies put the stray on you. Yeah, And they mess yeah. around with you and have the crack. <laughs> That's like what you're kind of saying, Jim. Yes. About that guy that couldn't find the gap out of the heads. It's like that's the right, fairies yeah. sticking the stray on him. Yeah. And he doesn't know which way to go. I think that's yeah, mad. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is. We have no way of relating to that nowadays with our mode of life. You know, what would it be to be walking home without a light to be guided by? You know, yeah, your brain yeah. could do funny things to you. I, yeah, but I, there's something about it, though. Like, I've often been spooked in a, in a forest. I mean, walking through, like, well, part of me, like, I don't know. I, I, there's something interesting about it as well. I like experiencing that because there's no other place to experience oh, it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. You don't. You can't have experiences like that on the internet or in a house. It's it's mad. With a smartphone on your pocket. Yeah, uh, we have lots of. Um, we're gonna have a lot of moving going on because um, we're just ha- moving and st- people and it's all good because uh, shifting. Because it's Halloween. That's why. <laughs> I don't know no rules. Means. Everything <laughs> goes out the window. Yeah, it's uh, chaos. The same time. Yeah. As is the monster under your bed. Um, <laughs> chaotic. Not really. There's no monsters under your bed. And if there is, I apologize about that. Um. I'm not trying to offend any monsters under anyone's bed. Are you? Are you done, Hugh? Yeah, yeah Hugh's done. Hugh's, done. <laughs> Hugh's furniture. There you go. Boom. Yeah. We're joined by seamless. The, yeah, we're, Larry's jumping in there. Is that? I I wasn't on the. We had an episode of you before, but I wasn't on the episode, so it's good yeah, to meet you. Good. Like, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, Jim, when did the the Halloween stuff start to change in Ireland? Do you oh, think? Oh, I'd say maybe into the seventies. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Like, Even you know, that like early. Those fashions that were the trick and treat. There was never 
That was never heard. Mm. We never had that when I was a kid yeah. in in the UK. Like that yeah. was like in the that early eighties. Yeah, it's quite yeah. a recent yeah. American custom yeah. as well. Yeah. Like we would never have done that. Halloween wasn't a big thing that we celebrated. Yeah, it wasn't at all. You know, it was Harvest Festival. Right. We had Harvest Festival and like your school holiday, and and my cousin's birthday. Right. Your cousin's yeah, birthday. Yeah. Very important. Most importantly. Yeah. Ma, I was always very surprised at the whole thing of asking strangers for candy. You it's know, really that, weird. That, that, really that, that, that was always... <laughs> wasn't that the one thing they told us not to do? Like, yeah. you know. On so. One day of the year, it's perfectly fine to knock on strangers' no. doors and eat their sweets. Yes. That's weird. Sugar That's rush. Dubious. Uh, how are you, Larry? Have you any... Ex um, what was Halloween like when you were younger? And Do you remember? Um... Similar to what Jim's experience was, I would say. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of, uh, I suppose, you know, in the seven, early 70s or early 60s, and, uh, later on in the 70s, started to change then. Um, and, and with the American influence. Yeah, yeah. Um, became, that became more popular. And then you had the advent of, of TV and, you know. Yeah. Um, so that was going to change things again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, uh, a little poem I wrote that Hugh had been asking me about. Mm. Was about to change. Um, okay, years, right. You know, wow. and uh, uh, change for the worse, I think. Yeah. Um, are, you, are you up for reading the poem now? And uh, yeah, if you want me to do yeah, it, you're up for it. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to hear it. Like. Because yeah. it's like it is like it's less about the land and the seasons and preparing for the winter, and it's more just about like yeah decorations yeah. and chocolate. There's no and soul stuff in it, yeah. especially yeah. someone being you know a particular celebration where it's you know about preparing almost for that death of winter and they're going inside and it's such an important mm. step to take. And it's the fact that it was overridden by all of these sugar, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it is sad as a sailor like and glitter and. <laughs> Yeah. So it's, like it's about survival and respect for the land and the season that's coming. Yeah, and it is all glitter and sugar. Now. Yeah. So <laughs> aligning it's yourself like to nature, but it's I mean, turned to glitter and sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All things. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, it'd be really cool. So it's around. It's around specifically around the change of Halloween. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I call it a, a travel agent. As I composed it after Mickey Bowes whistled this one night. No way. Oh, that's good. Being a travel agent. <laughs> <laughs> that's very uh, good. <laughs> can you recall as a child uh, taking that giant parental hand and looking up to where minuscules, minuscule early jet planes scratched those diminishing white lines across our virgin blue skies? Is Samhain, our soul season, still in your memory? When broom fueled, the witches flew past our moons. Nights of hollowed out turnips filled with sacred candles lighting our dark pagan processions. Worlds we have forgotten, emptied from our memories, instead to live in a world without real turnips without real witches. Can you recall when broom fueled the witches flew past your moons? Jeanette. Lovely, that was really yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Very good, love. That was so lovely. Then. That's my sort of recollection yeah. of the yeah. difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can feel that. That's so true, even in my lifetime. Like that, when I was a little kid, like three or four, it was like, yeah, witches flying past moons. That was mm. yeah, that when was we made art. That was yeah, in, in Halloween. That sort of media, yeah. Yeah, mm. it was always. We used to have like every, because just before we broke up for the like the midterm break, you'd have like, it'd be a bit more of a relaxed day on a Friday. So you'd always make art relating to Halloween. And I can remember cutting those things out. Yeah, yeah. yeah and sticking yeah. them on. Yeah, it was the archetypal kind of I, image I, of it. Even I very much, when I was younger, like, you know, it's not that long ago, like for, very much remember that atmosphere, like even the, yeah, like that blue sky part is perfect. I always noticed that, like, although it could have mm. even been a warm summer, it could have been warm summer with rain. There's something about that time where, the skies were blue, the stars were starting to get a bit more like crystal clear looking and um, 
and yeah like and so even in terms of the atmosphere like the weather like and in terms of like yeah the, the witches even that was a big thing like that was probably the most common thing like and it's weird that it's like changed so quickly too like if i even remember that it's weird yeah, yeah you it seem to be more connected with it previously you yeah know, with mm. um the other world or whatever you want to call yeah it, yeah um and it it sort of uh, dissipated over the years, you know. Yeah. And it's gone very wishy-washy now. And um, yeah. it was to do, I think, with sort of celebrating our our, our, our dead. Yeah. You know, people who had passed. And um, there was a lot of different traditions in different mm. countries. And uh, yeah, uh, I suppose Scotland uh, out in the highlands and islands and, and Ireland were similar, but the rest, I mean, England and the continent of Europe, and yet yeah, they were slightly different in the way they would celebrate. But yeah. they all seemed to celebrate Halloween. So. Yeah, yeah, but as yeah. it was the harvest, it was always like the harvest festival was like the big thing, and yeah, that was what we do at school. Yeah, it was very pagan, that, even that's over the sort of yeah. thing that I wouldn't have come across as a youngster. The harvest festival. Yeah, uh, yeah. I would look on that as more a Church of Ireland. Uh, thing that I would have recognized a bit more when I was in my early 20s. Okay. Um, right. Previous to that, that didn't seem to be a thing locally mm. for me anyway. No, no, you're you know, telling the truth there, Larry. You know, it's, um, you used to hollow out the turnips, you used to do ocean for put the, the light in it. Not a turnip, but a pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin, yeah. was it? Yeah. They used to do it long ago with a turnip. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Pumpkins, yeah. Originally, it was more of a... The you had that thing. in your pumpkin. They were creepy yeah. ass looking things. Yeah. 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 The, that was the Americanization again with the pumpkins. Yeah. No? Just because pumpkins yeah. are more native to the USA, as well as in turnips yeah. would have been easily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's really yeah. cool. And yeah, they were. I've seen pictures of them, or when people still do, some people who still do them, they're a lot more like uh, creepy looking. Oh, they yeah. are. Jesus, they're a lot even more much easier fun. to carve out. Carving you a think? pumpkin's hard work. It is hard. Work. Yeah. So well, it's turn like carving into wood and concrete, and it's yeah, like it is hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, hmm. Not that that's a reason not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Really I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the food. I'm just um, thinking as well, like we're talking about all of these traditions and everything like that. And when I came in today, you handed me a packet of Haribo and said, happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you I go. Know. Yeah. I know. What you do? I don't eat them. I was yeah. trying to get rid of them. This is the, no. the this table. This is the real deal. Yeah. America. Uh, well, I, I know, it's a, we've got the, you know, it's, it's a bit uh, of a blend of all cultures here. We've got lovely, African it? leopards. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. We've got Argentinian biscuits. Argentinian actually. chocolate yeah. biscuits. Yeah. Chocolinas. Yeah, yeah. chocolinas. Uh, what? Dublin Road Leaves. Dublin Road Leaves. <laughs> <Road> <laughs> <Road> <laughs> <Road> <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the cultures wow. coming together. Um, it's interesting also because, you know, Sowen is only one of, of a good few uh, uh, special dates that are distributed along the year that... Uh, for many, you know, the interpretation is that it's it's a bit of a map of the human response to the amount of light and dark throughout mm -hmm. the year. Yeah, you know, yeah. these, these, these eight celebrations that are normally called the Celtic Wheel um, yeah. actually go way, way, way back. You have Neolithic monuments here in Ireland that are aligned with, into, to yeah. rise, sunrises in these dates. So we can definitely know that they were way before the Celts uh, yeah. were here. Yeah. And so, and it's oftentimes referred to as, as the New Year as the time of, of, yeah. of acknowledgement of that death that's coming. Some people see winter solstice, which is the following one, as yeah. the, you know... But it was, it was but wasn't it very much like the first of November was pretty much like the first day of the year, in a sense, in, in terms of maybe like the year of the land or the year of yeah. life, life itself, rather than like the Gregorian calendar or Caesar's calendar, and like that was like... There's, out of the eight, there's um, four that are considered uh, sun festivals because they mark something that happens in the sky, like the two solstices and the two equinoxes. Mm. Okay. But then, so when Imbolc, Lunasa, yeah, and yeah. Bieltana are, are say, more cultural celebrations. Not, not, it's only yeah. the midway point between a, a an equinox and a, and a solstice. There's nothing really happening in the sky that marks it, but a human uh, process. Oh, the preparation yeah. for death, the rebirth in Imbolc, the celebration of life in Bieltana, and the preparation That's for the harvest right. in Lunasa. And if you look at it in Lunasa Circle, the amount of light that we you know, respond to psychologically throughout the year is marked yeah. by what happens in each of these celebrations. So it's a bit of a map as well to kind of navigate. Yeah, what's inside and outside. Yeah, yeah, and to tune yourself to the nature, which I think yeah, that yeah. is what you were saying, you know, that yeah. what, what we have lost with the banalization of the celebration, we kind of lost that beautiful opportunity to tune in 
to okay nature is preparing for the long night and the long rest yeah yeah we should also because we are part of that yeah yeah, yeah. hibernate like is yeah i feel like sometimes that's what that's a massive thing as well that's causing so much distress that sense of i think it's different like yeah different like jobs and stuff but now all the office jobs and stuff like there's no hibernation there's like nothing changes nothing in changes. society when winter comes now nothing christmas might slow things down or to be honest christmas speeds things up now which is a problem <laughs> when even when i was younger christmas was still a bit slowed down like christmas did sort of slow things down but now it's like it speeds things up and it's like not people's week off now at christmas is like the most hectic week of the year and i i'd like the right to hibernate in november yeah, the, I think a that's human right. Reasonable. Yeah, yeah. It should be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should be, yeah. Um, yeah. It should be. What are you drinking there? This is an uh, uh, sour. <laughs> an Argentinian sour tradition. No, uh, this is called yerba mate. It's a typical South American, I should say. Uh, it's coffee. Is there something? It's like a tea. tea. It's tea, a, tea, it's, a, it's a shrub. It's a shredded shrub. Okay. Say that cool. five times in a row. Shredded uh, shrub. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of like an energizing. Yeah. Um, do you guys do anything to celebrate <coughs> Halloween at all now? Just drink a few pints. Drink a few pints. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good enough, good enough drink celebration. It works for yeah. every occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking a few pints. <laughs> yeah. You're uh, out, out in your place though. You often do like, uh, is a carta as well? Like you're often doing the sort of... Um, more Celtic traditions coming up to times like out and out stuff yeah. like Roshin would dress up the, the place wouldn't you Roshin Decorate. decorations yeah but oh, cool. it, and Gretchen, they did do one for Lunasa Lunasa yeah, yeah that was the most recent one yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah and they were talking of doing one for Samhain weren't they they were yeah, yeah. I don't know, has it been organized yet? But yeah, they're trying yeah. to get they're trying to bring that back, I think. Yeah. There's been a massive revival of all of this yeah. as well. There's a lot of people in this island really yeah. being aware of these dates and, and either gathering to celebrate them or even just, you know, being yeah. aware of it. There's a yeah. beautiful, beautiful return to those. That was a great day out in Rhines, yeah. 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 They yeah. do, um, there's a group, I'm not sure, do you know how Cabra Wetlands, you might know about that, the group that meet up, oh, they're yeah. meeting up nearly every month or something, and there'd be a lot of people, like, I went there and I was the youngest person there by generations, and I was blown away to, like, I didn't know what to expect, I just went out there, and it was during, like, May Day, and I was blown away that, like, in this circle of everyone there, because normally when I go to things like that, I'm used to, like, you go to a circle and there's one person has all the information, but every single person went around with different traditions, everything they remembered, and had so much information to give and it was so amazing and yeah it really uh opened up to my eye opened my eyes up that there are things like that still going on that i think um oh, yeah. yeah people do want it to come back i think so we have to do things like that so yeah you'd have to bring it back yourselves yeah exactly yeah, yeah larry exactly. do you do anything that's I kind of more I traditional no not really do you go trick or treating uh, no. <laughs> 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 Terrorizing neighborhoods. Pagan houses. What yeah. is there still the bonfire? Because like in the in the UK, it would be November the fifth that we would celebrate bonfire night. Yeah, Guy Fawkes. But I know that there's definitely I've I've come across bonfires around Ireland for Halloween. Is that a thing? Yeah, I've seen it in a few places, but you know, yeah. you're generally at home at Halloween. You're on the winter, but. Uh, yeah. I think I've seen something up around Mullingar there. Uh, in Ishnock, was it? Yeah, around there. Yeah. The hill of Ishnock. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure where it was, Jim. Mm. It was out the country. but Yes. Um, and fireworks as well. You hear fireworks. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, at this time of year. Am I the only one that caused trouble when I was a kid? Like uh, around Halloween, no? We used to do mad things. Like, like what? what did you do? We, we used to be up on Mine Road, um, where that, where the, say, Tommy Barrett's garden is now coming down there. And we used to just pelt things at cars. Uh, what else? We, we used what to things did you pelt at eggs, cars? It wasn't like bricks or anything. Eggs and kind of we used to just pull up a lump of grass and just pelt them at cars. Oh, quite yeah. innocent. Yeah. yeah. And then get chased off the guards with petrol we had. It was just like, yeah, it was just <laughs> madness. Wow. Uh, fireworks. So we used to... Yeah, letting off fireworks and bangers and egg in places just for halloween yeah it was just mayhem like when we were about like 12 or 13 like that kind of age you know and getting chased off the guards and and would you blame the americans for that tradition i would as well? yeah yeah that was kind of yeah. where it came from you yeah. know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah we used to do all sorts of mayhem but and uh, and it was kind of like you were afraid going to bonfires in other areas like because you heard all these rumors about all the mad things that would happen there right 
Um, yeah. But it was probably, did you hear that as well? No, or did you, like back in the 80s yeah. and 90s, it was all mayhem, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a bit uh, uh, with the housing estates. Yeah. When you had younger families in yeah. it at that time, there was a few on either end of the town. Yeah. So they were going to ha- be playful at Halloween. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I remember getting egged, my car getting egged a couple of years ago. I'm just uh, Halloween. I was just driving along the same spot, and I just went, "Ah, that's nice." There's that's still, a, there's still karma. Doing a bit of that's tradition is exactly. still going on. I got the whole jeep yeah. covered in egg, wow. and I was the old going, traditions. Yeah, not I nice. said it hasn't died out. They haven't lost their Halloween spirit. Yeah. Of, but it was a night of fear, and you didn't know what was going to happen or what. That is a bit of a common theme in the in the old mythologies regarding that day. There's a date of where all the rules, you know, kind of go out, out the, the window. window. Anything yeah. can happen, yeah, yeah. you know, and 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 that's yeah. the. Yeah, That's the theme of it. Outlandish. Uh, you, mm. you wear uniforms and meant to be outlandish stuff. You yeah. Know, as, as far as you can go. So yeah, yeah. Um, and and the fancy dress was never a thing. Like, that's a really recent thing as well, isn't it? Like, I yeah. never heard television. <laughs> it, might have, it might have been in, in the cities and places mm. like that, but yeah. I never heard television down around Tullas anyway, or around the country, particularly in country areas. Yeah. Yeah. There's some you notions know, about dressing up. In these... these, uh, these Monkey nuts, or whatever you call them. Yeah, they they started buying them, and people, you know they gradually. This is, I think, this is really American. Like yeah. this, we never had any of this, and it's no, like it came enough. into the culture by degrees. Yeah, yeah. you know, television. Jim is the first symbol of modernization of yeah. Exactly. yeah, the peanut. Monkey nuts. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really? Mm. Yeah. That was the first thing that came across. As Jim said, it yeah. 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 Larry, when when do you remember like around Turles, the first bonfire, or was always bonfires at Halloween? Um, I, d- I don't really know because Do you remember the paddock? The Sarsfields won the hurling so much oh, okay. And Tipperary won the hurling yeah. so much You'd have bonfires All the time matches. Would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So You don't remember a bonfire in the paddock in, in Croke Street Do you remember the paddock there? Behind Jack the Wires Yeah, do you remember that place? I remember one of my earliest memories is going to a bonfire in there Jack the Wires pub? Yeah, so across from say where The Bullring Yeah, yeah that's oh. it, sorry Yeah, yeah, the Bullring Yeah oh, I don't yeah. Call that I remember one, bonfires in yeah, there Yeah, be a long time that house Would you not? No Came on it <laughs> Sweet man Yeah Or do you remember any mayhem around the town, town at that time? No yeah, not not not, uh, not really. Particularly at Halloween, yeah, we yeah. just we'd be mm. fighting the whole year round together <laughs> every Saturday. Yeah. There'd be rocks, getting yeah. rocks all weekend. Yeah. Fight our way up to Loch yeah. the They fight their way into Strand of w- Wars. Yeah. What time did the boats boys come around? Uh, oh, that was the mid seventies. Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there was, there was uh, a fearsome gang at in. My own brother was one of them. Oh, yeah, Tony. who was that? Yeah. <laughs> the Boots Boys. Boot Boys. Boot yeah. Boys. Like in town, all, I saw all it. pals in the same yeah. class. Like, but yeah, uh, we'd veer away from them as much as possible. <laughs> So there was gang, yeah. there was gang stuff going down in Thurles. Yeah, like the gangs in New York. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. same. Do you remember that, Jim? The the boot boys and all that crack. I remember them, but we were outside the town. We were removed from it. You're, you're and I wasn't coming into town. I'd come in across the fields maybe for a few old pints. Yeah. If I had the price of them, into my keyboards. Lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Running across the fields around twenty past eleven. Yeah. Drink five or six pints and yeah. go yeah. home before one o'clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mickey or Abby would kick us out that time. Yeah. When they got married and um, Greg was there before him. Yeah. Greg Bow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were the finest of people. Yeah. <laughs> they had to get up in the morning. They'd, they'd want to hunt you out of the pubs. You yeah. Know. <laughs> hunt you out of the pubs. Yeah. Cool. Well, we do the, the scarecrow. Um, oh, yeah. Building is that is that I'm another poem? Yeah, before we do, is that another poem there? Uh, that, that other piece of paper, no? Yeah, Will you do oh, that yeah, one before we do? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't really. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. It's about this uh, 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 wheel uh, yeah. that connects upper and lower canals in Falkirk in Scotland, and it's called oh. the Falk- Falkirk Wheel. Lovely. Um, it's an amazing piece of, of engineering. And uh, you, you, you come on your boat to the top of the wheel and it, it spins in two directions. Oh, and you come yeah. back onto a, you're, sp- you're, you're down and you're on yeah, the lower yeah, lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. You're on your boat constantly. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Um, so I wrote this uh, one day when I came back from Scotland. And um, seldom I, I'll write something that rhymes, but this one. <laughs> Class. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, it's called uh, The Nettle and the Primrose. 
because yeah. when you're on a boat on, on a canal, you'll see every sort of a, a plant and weed and whatever. Yeah. And you'll see the good and the bad or the ugly and the nice looking, or, but they're all the same. Yeah. The Falkir Quill takes us up and down waterways. Satisfaction guaranteed on sinful holy days. Hot weather warming, landscape haze. Our water journey creates its own reality. Combination locks open and close readily. Lifting or lowering us, bathtub ducks steadily. With Lincoln Green, our home and water newly painted. Her history re we relate to the listening unacquainted. We can smell different worlds. We are the modern ancient. Lovely. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> modern ancient, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's such a nice load of observation about something because people pass through those things without thinking of the, the elegance of them. Yeah. You know, and what, what something that kind of, yeah, in the difference that that makes on your journey. Yeah. Presence. Yeah. You know, it's contradictory yeah. there, Larry. You have the lovely contradiction there in those worlds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sinful uh, and holy. Yeah. 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 But, uh, somebody asked me one time, uh, What's your least favorite word and your favorite word? My favorite word is primrose. Right. Lovely. Oh, it's a lovely soft word. Is, yeah. 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 yeah, it's really descriptive of the flower, like the <laughs> that pale yellow of the What flower is depicted really well in that word. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your least favorite word begin with? The word letter though. No. Wow. <laughs> 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 Halloween. <laughs> it's with a H. <laughs> 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 oh, um Right, well, we do the Scarecrow yeah. building. Yeah. I'm really excited to yeah. see this. Yeah. I've been eyeing up the dungarees. We need to think of a name for him as well, or her. Yeah, we yeah. can when it's done, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, so anyway, here we are live, learning how to make uh, Scarecrows. Scarecrows. Hugh has done this. Hugh is the main host for this one. I'm his co-host. I'm his assistant. Cause Thank you, my assistant. He's been doing this for years. You're a lovely have assistant. You, yeah. have you Hugh, got, he's, you, I've, I went to a donkey derby racing thing with Hugh before. That's right. He was awful nervous about introducing it, but you've done this so many times. It's good. Like No problem. No problem. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, well, full of confidence. Come, okay, how do we, what, what are we doing here? We're, we're making Scarecrow. What do we need? This is just going to be his frame, and you can okay. do it different ways. But it's handy if you have, if you want to prop him up somewhere. Yeah, it's good to have somebody that can use a drill. I don't have a drill here today, but I have. Karen, you use a drill, can you? Drill here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, can. Yeah, it's already done yeah. though. Yeah. Okay. To go. Pre prepared <laughs> so earlier. The, okay, yeah, the, the hard work. Okay. So yeah. we're just making like a crucifix shape, I suppose. This is going to be his shoulders. Lovely. Um, if you could just hang your clothes on it like the old-fashioned way, and yeah. if you if you weren't being too fussed about the aesthetic of how. But we are going. fussed. We are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so th these are going to be shoulders if, yeah. you, if you like, and yeah, um, yeah. you could make this taller or smaller, whatever way. Okay. We're going to work with what we Perfect. have. Right. So I'm going to use, I'm going to dress him as kind of a, a farmer or a. So this uh, is what a scarecrow looks like naked, yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, naked scarecrow. <laughs> so we're going to give him a dungarees, yeah. which are kind of handy because they'll already have, all we need to do is just put the straps over his shirt as we go on Brilliant. and keep him together. So I'm just going to start off by stuffing the legs with a bit of straw. Lovely. You could use something uh, else if you didn't have straw, um, like yeah. you had another cushion or okay, yeah. okay. Um, a pillow or something like that. But the straw is handy because it's light and it's bulky. Lovely. And and it's messy. We yeah. like that. Fun, yeah. 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 Um, so and I'm just going to stick out a bit out here. These are going to be kind of like uh, feet. lovely. If you wanted to give him yeah. proper socks or legs, you could use tights. Okay. And do that yeah, yeah. with mm -hmm. the shoes or whatever. But this is what I'm going to do. And it looks cool as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks cool. Now yeah. you could use an elastic band here, or I'm going to use a piece of string just yeah. to keep it um, together. Keep it together. Yeah, just keep it neat. Oh, so these scarecrows are a little bit more glamorous than yeah. you find on a farm. Yeah. High, these are high-end yeah. scarecrows. Yeah. yeah. Do you it put wouldn't look out of place in, in London. Farm, no. um, I think, Chad, did you make some sort of a, a scarecrow yourself? Not half a million dollars scarecrows. It's all a big old coat. Yeah. Keep off the clothes. And, and often it wouldn't keep them off either. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay, so you just stuff so in yeah, all the stuff, yeah. Make him as um, 
big or as small as you like. I suppose stuff can, mm. you know, make them bulky or make them streamlined. Cool. So that's kind of the, the main part of it, yeah. Have you ever made scarecrows, you before? Have I ever made scarecrows? Yeah. I thought oh you said well. or have whatever. You sounded, to, have you ever you met any? Made. You said, "Have I ever made?" But you yeah. sound like you've done something with. Scarecrows. I've done something with scarecrows. Okay, I kind of not made. I know what you call them, scarecrows. We I, didn't I have thought this you level said, of professionalism involved. "Had you ever met any scarecrows before?" Oh, well, that's a good that's question too. Actually, said, have yeah. you ever met any? I have. What was he like? <laughs> you. Yeah, fabulous. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, when we were kids, we kind of. I think we. I don't think we went to. Um, <laughs> didn't look as good as these ones do. There's yeah, that Scarecrow Penny. Festival in Durrow yeah. that oh, they that have every cool. July. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I love going there. That's really cool, actually. I love that play. Mm. There, wait, in town they used to like... Um, or have them sitting yeah. in doorways and stuff. Yeah, they sit yeah. there. I didn't see that this year. No. I suppose, you know. Um, yeah, it was a thing, wasn't it? I think yeah. it's still kind of taken off, though. I think that was the yeah. Halloween Arts Festival or something oh. like that. It was part of that. Yeah. And they used to have things in the river and stuff. Remember that? No, oh mm. yeah, I remember yeah. that they make like straw, wicker, um, yeah. straw men and stuff and yeah. boats and stuff. It was Is cool. there a significance of scarecrows for Halloween? It's kind or of not really. To do with crops and harvest and stuff, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Is it just yeah the, the energy? I think you're in the mood. Do you know that kind of crows? I don't know. Like, it's probably just a real energy thing. Like do you know, I don't know. There's something about the scarecrow and the crows and. And a scarecrow would scare you, so. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Oh, okay, so how long we say forget your ghosts mm, yeah. and your witches and your cats yeah, go with all the scarecrows. Is a man made of straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I guess um, they would have just scared people. There's yeah. apparently two you know different I mean? possible etymologies for the word sowing. Yeah. Uh, okay. A more modern one that's supposed to be like the end of the summer. Okay. Pretty much. And, yeah. Uh, you know, and as we were saying earlier, uh, it is a bit late for the harvest because what Soen celebrates is the end of the harvest in the same way that Lunasa celebrates the beginning oh, of okay. the harvest. Um, but there's a proto-Celtic word uh, that I think is Samonius, it is, which kind of means assembly. Oh, okay. okay. So Soen would also be important because it'd be the last time that, that the tribe would come together you know, yeah. before the onset of the heavy winter, yeah, the, yeah. The, like the last yeah. uh, time of togetherness in a large scale. So. That's another possible um, yeah, yeah. etymology for it. How, yeah. What How, at what point does it like, does it like, do you, is there a certain technique for getting the soul? And Kenny has lovely eyes. He's got a real soul about him. Like, does the soul just sort of <laughs> happen? That, that arrives. Yeah. yeah. It just happens. Yeah, yeah it waits yeah. for the body and floats. Wasn't Wars yeah. of Gummidge a scarecrow? What? Wars yeah, of Gummidge was. Gummidge. What's that? Oh. Sorry. Oh, was man. It a TV Not show culture. when it was the coolest we thing were ever. kids. It was about a scarecrow that came to life. His and name was Wars of Gummidge. And Aunt Polly, wasn't it? His Sally. girlfriend. Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally, was it? Yeah, she was like a doll in a local tea shop or something. Yeah, strange, yeah. Wasn't it? And, and she came, came to, to life, life as well. That's mad. Yeah. He was able to change his heads as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Happy head and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite creepy, to be honest. It was, yeah. Especially changing the heads bit was a yeah, bit... Yeah, thanks, thanks yeah. for reminding me about yeah. this. Was this like a bit. cartoon? What was it? No, it was just like a... TV a, program. Yeah, okay. it was like with real people. And he had friends, didn't he? Like a an Irish girl. TV yeah. program, was it? English. English, English. yeah. Right. Yeah, Wurzel Gummidge. Uh, yeah. Had he kind of superpowers or something? No? No, I don't think Just so. changing the head is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was, that was coming enough. to life when you're a scarecrow. Uh -huh. that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you that? get points for that. Yeah. Yeah. This is mad. I love watching this. This is sort of this like so a version cool. of a snowman to me. Mm. It's yeah, really like yeah. the process so of building a oh, snowman. scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. But not as cool. Going a copyright. We're going to be censored by Disney. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> when does it come come up to life and start singing about needing a brain? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! When you put it in a movie, there you go. Yeah, when he gets on camera now. Farm, farm, farm girl and yeah. Teen man. Is Kenny going to be like? Is he all right with creating another? Like, is he friendly or is he a bit like <laughs> he likes the attention himself? Okay, or yeah, so he love he a looks quite brother keen, or sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Quite keen. He's actually I'm looking at. He's he's staring. He's very. He's excited. He's, he's like, a man of straw. He's like, oh, I want to see what you're doing here. Oh, he's yeah, he's yeah. learning how to make more of him. He didn't. That's he didn't get doing. to watch his own process. Yeah. So this is really yeah, fascinating yeah. for him. Now. Yeah. Did you ever hear that I don't want to see my process. Um, um, he knows how, was. how to make yeah. his army of clones. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's really cool. Yeah. Ah, cool. Okay, and cool. They're actually handier nearly because they're already a bag. Oh, wow. All right. Oh. They're, they're a little bit more, um, they have bigger holes. 
Oh, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you ever hear that expression, Jim? A man of straw defies the law. Did you ever hear that? No? Yeah. What Fair does it mean? It means if you've no money, you get away with murder, like, isn't it? Oh, yeah. You can kind of, like, suppose, you yeah. can have people sue you and all that kind There's of thing. There's nothing people can take from you. No, like, exactly. Nothing to lose, like, as as <gasps> Yeah. That's mad. Have you, ever met, have you ever met a man of straw? Is that what you said? Man of straw. Man of straw defies the law. Man of straw defies the law. Have you ever met a man of straw defying the law? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Guys, did you ever do any of the old apple bobbing and the apple catching and stuff growing up? Like with the Halloween? Yeah, we did a bit of it, yeah. Like the uh, Halloween games? Uh, yeah, we did, yeah. We did it up and down the road, yeah, in the yeah. houses around. The, the snap apple they called it yeah, yeah. You know, I was apple just apple bobbing I can see yeah. now the relevance I always used to think when I was a kid why the hell was that but it's like because yeah you're bringing the apples in aren't you at that time of year like, yeah yeah that's right and you yeah. can never use them all can you no matter how many crumbles you make you've yeah, always got you to a rhubarb is another thing you'd have loads of, isn't yeah. it? You know? Yeah, yeah. rhubarb grows like the clappers. Yeah. 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 Which is like all the berries, the hot ones. Yeah. You know, nobody could pick them all. or yeah. the, You know, they're, they're, they're go floor shook, as they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Floor yeah. Shook, yeah. yeah. Do you have any Irish yourself? Yeah. I have, yeah. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I have. Um, you have some Seamus, do you? I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm what have you learned so far? Do you agree? Do you have Irish kind of like that? Huh? Right, eh? That's beautiful. Did they speak Irish um, in your in your home when you were growing up? No, no, the Irish was gone more or less. At school, we learned the Irish, and uh, when I was going to primary school, all our books were in Irish. Right. You know, yeah, so yeah. the only books that weren't I was talking about this to someone last night were the Catechism and the English right. book. Wow. <laughs> no, all, yeah. all the all our uh, terms in uh, arithmetic yeah. were in Irish. Uh, our geography book was and star history. You know. Right. They were all written uh, in Irish. So you couldn't but be reasonably good at Irish if you were interested. And we had some great teachers, you know. Willie DeWare was an excellent teacher. Yeah, Willie was yeah. 12 year old. That's yeah, that's right, yeah. Primary. You know. And they were very passionate about the language. Were they, yeah? Oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very. Um, I hope his arms uh, coming out is that part of Correct it? about grammar. Yeah. Right? All the detentions and all right, those things. Right, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good few of them. Yeah. Uh, things to yeah. keep in mind. Yeah. yeah. Is it straw from the... You do Irish and you from speak from mostly Irish yeah. in school. Yeah. 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 Just use it for like bedding mostly. We spoke in our junkies. Apart from when we were doing Irish class. Yeah. 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 The um, famous Irish class that nobody likes to... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was... It was um, we, we all didn't have a love for it at that stage. Did you have peg? I definitely changed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had Peg. Uh, what, yeah. what did you think of Peg? Uh, remote. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Hey. I'm coming, Peg. I'm not fucking trying to just her. Wait, what? Peg Sayers. What's that? I don't know about that. Excuse me. Your own life, that's, mm. that would be remote to us. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You couldn't relate to her, probably, no? Uh, no, because we weren't coastal. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, What's that, uh, Peg? Peg Sayers is a woman... Uh, what was she saying? It was misery upon misery and all this kind yeah, of crap. Yeah, living in the Lasket Islands. Yeah, or yeah she hard, was hard life. Inventory, like, but yes. she moved across to the island then. Yes. Uh, uh, so, um, like, that was the book, I suppose, people, most people had. And they, and, to and analyze it, it, to try and analyze it, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Did you, did you like Peg? No, I didn't have Peg. Okay. Jimmy and Vara Oh, I heard of him. Yeah, he was uh, a bit of crack, I'd say. He was, she, and she, he was, yeah. He was a bit yeah. daft, like. Yeah, they got the goose uh, drunk. Did well, the rest of them are gone to, <laughs> yeah. gone to, 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 for, to buy the shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they came home, the old geese were falling all over yeah. the place. Uh, Jimmy, the he, he was just a complete Egypt, was he? Well, well he was no Egypt. <laughs> was he not? <laughs> I'd say he was. He pretended. <laughs> he like, he to be. Yeah. He pretended to be. <laughs> yeah, he let on to be an Egypt. Uh. And how did you just have that book? The one book in your I know, right? It's so yeah, random. Well, <laughs> Many things in my backpack today. I had the the bamboo toilet roll. Yeah, uh, we and we need a toilet there. roll. He brought it. I like, peg. yeah, that's bizarre. Uh, Have you Jimmy in with you? Mate kit. A what kit? Sorry. A mate kit. So yes. Mate. They all oh, enough. Oh, okay. To pay. I have the Kerry people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely. She has brought so much tourism. A one. Oh, one well. yeah. Wow. Very important. You have a one. Let's see. Is what's the one made out of? Uh, red. <laughs> exactly. Red yeah. That's mad. That's right. Yeah. And my, one, you often do die. Uh, a redwood one. And, and, where, where's and, it from? And Brenda Kennelly. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Oh, 
and and the two great that. musicians. <laughs> that's how we'll get the soul in him. And Paddy Malone. I totally see, Rasheen, how yeah. much easier it is when you have the cross there, like to keep the form yeah. on it. Yeah. Like, like there's loads of, ways, loads of different ways. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that looks oh, that looks cool. a lot easier. As so ah, long as you have a hue to prop up the cross yeah. with. Yeah. And if you want to, really like, well. if you know, have him leaning against something, or if you want to have him outside, obviously you wouldn't. If you want him sitting down, you wouldn't need something this big. Where'd you go to school, Jim? In the CBS, is yeah, it? Yeah, down to school every day, yeah. Did you go to Yes. That was in the Ursuline yeah. yeah. for a bit of a time. Oh, very really good, yeah. I took a half day for the races in the Ursuline. Did you? We got right built in after. Oh, did you? You weren't allowed? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> That's like when you're a small child or something. Yeah, yeah, to go off out to the races and clean. Donal, we, me, myself and Donal, Donal used to come up with some excuse why we'd go off early. I can't remember when we were kids. He would say we'd have helped, helped the father with a funeral. She were like only five or six. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to disappear. <laughs> oh, I need you to get home. <laughs> we go, we'd go off up. Can I ask a, a city boy question? Yeah. Um, how is this with rain? Like, does the dry hay uh, keep or does it get soggy very quickly and the whole thing kind of goes... Uh, Moldy like or something. That's yeah, it. straw. Straw doesn't hold rain. Um, you wouldn't put straw now in a scarecrow out in the, in the field. Oh. To scare the, you'd put on old clothes. Mm. Ah. Old coat. Oh, just okay. a frame, stick it's him down, put for the, and yeah. put an old hat on him. Yeah. <laughs> that he'd resemble a human being. Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, wow. it didn't always work. The crows got used to them too, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, they, they they are smart creatures, apparently. Yeah. The crows, yeah. On. Uh, I read somewhere that they can recognize and remember faces. Yeah, I seen that. I we had a crow uh, in Oakfield on the podcast. On the podcast. <laughs> Did you, yeah. <laughs> We could have. Oh, we could. Wow. I know a guy that has that has a crow as a friend that we could get on. Um, but we had oh, no. when we were. Oh, is he coming on? Yeah. Is that the head. Have we got a mic for the scarecrow? <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think? Oh, oh, yeah. Why is that? Why is that crack? He's awaiting his larynx. Don't do that. To yeah. Him. <laughs> no voice box. Yeah, I don't need so, so How we decide on a name? Um, what does he look like? Does he have eyes on yet? No. no. no yeah. Well, we may need to look into his eyes. And yeah, yeah exactly. Have less eyes. Mm -hmm. That's the, the name. And do people make female scarecrows too? Yeah. yeah. Wife. They do. Yeah. Hey, could we, if we could get the funding, because we're, just in case, if we ever do uh, live shows, right, and we'd awful be wor we're awful worried about people not showing up. So, like, <laughs> if we got, like, 200 scarecrows made to fill in any empty seats, if we ever did some stuff, that could be good. Yeah, at least we'll have an audience now. Really yeah, we could pay it, we could get funding so you can build us an audience to help us with... Uh, funding. Some, yeah. The grant from the council that we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, so we're not insecure about yeah. when people don't show up. That could be a plan. Wow. He's got a great ass going because, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's great, great, great eyes. <laughs> and the problems with veins there, I'd say, those are kind of, what? He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. his, his, his tight. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of a touch of a boot boy about this skinny, one. Skinny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a pair of docks now or something? Ten uh -huh. high docks. No. And a skinhead. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. He's like Micah Wallace or something uh, like that with the... <laughs> The tight hair, baldy head, and it's like Edward Scissorhands all over again, <laughs> isn't it? Mm. That's cool. Hey, hands. That's very good now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's coming out right. If well. you had dungarees lying around and you <laughs> just had jeans, yeah. you could make your own braces just with string on the, oh, like, you know, yeah. the hoops. Yeah. 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 Like, like any order. Yeah, like any exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, so the dungarees. That's why you were saying earlier it's easier to do with them because really? yeah, they're yeah, you, they already come with yeah, the, yeah, course, the braces yeah, like wow. just to bring them up. That's yeah. class. Exactly. So now I'm just going to paint on a little um, a little face. Give oh, this. right, good. That's cool. Nice. Or you could, you could have a, a glue gun and just do yeah. your own patchwork or something, whatever you want it. However, you know. This is the moment of truth. Yeah. yeah. This is when becomes this is where personality will, yeah. will, will, will shine through. And we'll know who he is. Yeah. We hope. We know, hope. Yeah. We know, we know his family is, we know his. Scarecrows is no soul. In which yeah. case, we'll just stick him on the fire out the back. <laughs> burn, burn it quickly before it lays eggs. They <laughs> say. <laughs> I just 
Could you feel He's it? Crying, yeah. I, feel it, yeah. I, 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 I think the soul is coming, guys. Hugh, do you know? Do you know how <laughs> we have this thing about how your your dead dog is in the house? Mm, yes. Oh yeah. People have heard. Hugh, Hugh's um, the ghost of Hugh's dog still resides in this house. So there's been hearings and and all sorts around it. I'm not joking. Since the beginning of this, I keep getting these huge cold gusts across the bottom of my legs, like That's a dog right. is walking past. There you are. I said to him, is the door open? Probably the scare no. scarecrow. <laughs> the scarecrow is so but I've been the whole time, time yeah. like every so often, I feel like this, like, like sweeping breeze and across jokey. my legs. I, I didn't ask him. Mm. So, you know. I've only ever had two paranormal experiences in my life. One of me and Owen and it's Owen. Really weird. When we were like really young, like seven, just the weirdest thing ever. And I don't know if paranor paranormal is not even the right word, but whatever. Mm. Uh, and then the other one was here in this house on my own where I swear to God, it was the freakiest thing ever. I've never experienced it. And like, I've always heard stories. I've always believed in this stuff, but just, but still I was like, yeah, I need to experience myself. And I was standing by that piano and I was like, I was thinking I was painting the wall or something like that. And then I just heard like a dog panting and like scratching the ground. And I freaked out, like it actually scared the shit out of me because I thought you were behind me, but you weren't even in the house. Oh, I was joking. I was so he was weird. Often panting and scratching. <laughs> yeah, <the wall. laughs> I was used to you there. Well, what, are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I've been him. <laughs> oh. Look at oh. him. He's coming. Oh, he's, he's, he's looking on. at Kenny. Coming he's looking is he at gonna Kenny. get hair as well? He's a greeting. Yeah, and we can give him here. I just need a bit of straw for hair. Uh -huh. A little string and. No, it's not. It's wow. it's it's not as my idea. Look, can we capture it's the interaction good. on I camera? Think. There's a little bit of a of a recognition going on. Yeah, he's starting to. Kenny and the, he's like, like oh, standing look. together for a moment. He's, yeah, I feel like he's staring at Kenny. You're talking to me. <laughs> yeah, the two of them are looking at each other, right? Yeah. Oh, he in looks a good so way. cool. Yeah, yeah. Not in a bad way. Getting no one's going to start a fight or anything. They're looking at each other like, yes, we're going to take over. Yeah. <laughs> the human race. Um, <laughs> like, there's yeah. two of us Next now. Next week, they'll be doing the cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get them on some <laughs> as the guests. They're brilliant. And oh, what's going to so happen cool. to, to this guy, Roisin? Has he got, the, is he earmarked for something? No, well, you can keep him here. If you I'll stay here forever. Wow. <laughs> yeah. To haunt you Another co-host. Yeah, we can keep him here for the mice to live in. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Or, that, or that. Away, <laughs> 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 no, it'd be cool. We should, we could keep him. Wow. That is class. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, my God. He's if I only had a brain. Should, should we... Each He's write down a name on a piece of paper and yes. pull it out of our That's hat. That's a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, yeah. I'll just get you, a, if you want to cut yes. it. Yes. Give me something. I, ha I think I have a pen. Come on, you've, yeah. you've had enough. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he does look like he's had a kind yeah. of guy who's had enough. Had like, enough. No, he? no. Yeah. No more drink. No. Yeah. <laughs> Out. He's the biggest man in the whole damn town. Yeah, yeah. look at the shoulders yeah, on him. Hugh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to be you're going Herb to be uh, hosting oh, international yeah. scarecrow competition someday. Can't wait. Do we have any more pens? I shall. I think I should have let me have one. What's the other guy called? Kenny. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> so we can't call him Kenny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get get them competing with each other no. as soon as they're born, you know. Oh, I have a name. Uh, oh wow! What? He uh, looks great on camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. He I does, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. He looks amazing. Yeah. He's so like uh, what's the word photogenic or yeah. he could be a star. Yeah, he need, he he's he's gonna get famous and we're gonna be left behind. No, he's very he's, warm. He's the star. Um, that is so cool. Just, that is amazing. Create a name for the scarecrow. We're going to put hey. it out of the house. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. That's brilliant. Beautiful. Yeah. If I only had a brain. <laughs> <laughs> he's really. He's, Hi guys. Oh my God. He does have. He has a sun soul anyway. Like er erratic. He, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let's see him in person. Right okay. There. Oh, wow. Oh, what's his name? He looks different on oh, camera wow. than in person. Yes. Uh, hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm just trying what's to the get. Crack? Did you see his face? <laughs> if you, you, we're going to all think of a name and write it down. Oh, so we're not going to say. I know his name. Where okay. do we put the names? Okay. What? Well, uh, do you have a, pe oh, a piece yeah. of papers? Here, here's paper. Paper. Braddock and Owen, do you want to do it as well? Do you want to give? 
the lads two slices of yeah. paper. Thanks, you give them to lads. There's and a pen there if you want. God, I, I have to go have a look. I see. God, I have a look at him there now for a sec. I, I, I can't see yeah, him. I, I had it, but he's different on camera than he is in person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He shows his true self in person. <laughs> yeah, he acts different on camera. Do you have a pen? I just write one down. No, uh, no, no. There was one that came originally. It's very. Oh, thank you. Thanks. If we could okay, do we're, we've reached that we're moment back. of truth. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to pick the name? Who's going to draw the? Um, most people suggest he has to. Okay. Cross was a blessing. Yes. Right. Here we go. I'm we'll picking the name there. No, I'm just. Mm. Whoa. Okay. So the name that came out is yeah. Big Bad Trump. Hey. <laughs> Who that is that you? What? No. All oh, right. Who's that? Me. Radic. You, Big Bad Trump. Oh, is it? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> That's, That's funny. He has a touch I of Trump about him, doesn't he's he? He's definitely oh. got Trump hair, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. That's really observant. <laughs> big bad Trump. So he's Trump. Yeah. It's big bad Trump. Like big first, bad Trump. First mid name. The I bad is his communion name. Good one. Kenny looks Kenny looks nicely amused. He looks happy with his new friend. He's yeah, looking Kenny like, yeah, and yeah, Trump. Man. That's Joe. I kind of want to see them both together. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think we need to bring them together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to see them together. <laughs> Joe White. <laughs> 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 Yeah, mm. two lads are friends now. You see, it's just me up there, so a bit of a broke back mountain vibe. Yeah. There. <laughs> yeah, there's love in the air. <laughs> love is in the yeah. air. Yeah, yeah it's there is a, a, a broke back <laughs> mountain. Gay cowboy, mm. kind of animal print. Yeah. Tight, yeah. tight denim. Like, look, look, yeah. look, look, look at those, yeah. those waist. Lovely. He's very yeah. masculine yeah. in his uh, yeah. stature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. That's very middle America, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The two of them are coming out of the Yeah. <laughs> and then things got a bit confusing. They've literally, it's their first night meeting each other in a bar and like they're just. <laughs> and yeah. now they're best friends. Yeah. You're my best friend, you are. Yeah, yeah. You. This is the beginning of a beautiful bromance. <laughs> <laughs> they're lovely looking. Why now, look Kenny look looks much happier than. He than does, Trump, doesn't he? Does. Yeah. he Why is Kenny so much happier than Big Bad Trump? I think yeah, uh, because K- Kenny has a friend now, whereas <laughs> whereas Trump is like you're after bringing me into this world, <laughs> and, you know. But sure, he'll get used to it. And you'll have to make another friend it's grand, for it? Trump, and then uh, he starts start smiling. Wow. Yeah. You need a few too many. <laughs> 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 that was brilliant. Uh, yeah, that was really good. So Thanks I think we'll finish much. up this part of the show. Thanks to Larry, Jim, and Roshin for coming yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, we'll be back over to the next part of this in a bit, so we're just going to... Yeah. Right, see you in a second. Okay, welcome. We're back again. Part two. After that par- part brief two. moment. Yeah, part two of the show. Uh, we have just fire going outside now. Um, it's pretty normal. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're joined by two blacksmiths. Are you both blacksmiths? Is that... Are yeah. saying that right? Um, yeah. Uh, so Jamie and Mark. Uh, Jamie's on the left and Mark's on the right. I don't know if that's any significance, but uh, yeah, so are you from around town now? from Turles. Yeah, I'm just from outside Turles. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm Clamel. Yeah. Oh, you and so you're a blacksmith. So what, well, when, when did you start getting into that? Uh, me, it was only about three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to be a fitter welder years ago, so I wasn't starting from scratch, you know, I had a bit of experience. Okay. But uh, about how'd, three years. How did you get into it? Um, I was actually cleaning out the shed one day and I filled an old gas torch and yeah. I heated up a nail and started hitting with a hammer and said, hey, here you <laughs> that's go. Right. <laughs> you know, that's yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that? that's really experimental. That's like really just like I've got a hammer and yeah, I've got, yeah. got nails Literally and I've loaded no it. no plan or anything like that. It just happened yeah. exactly like that, you know. And that, <laughs> that's and, mad. And, and yeah. And you, <laughs> you joined the blacksmith community then. Exactly. You? How did exactly. that happen? Where did you go? Um, first, it was like uh, on, on Facebook, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, American groups, uh, blacksmithing groups and the whole lot. And that's where Jamie found me wandering around half naked on one of them groups one day. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 and nice. he kind of said to me, you know. Yeah, you need to you keep know, your clothes on on those groups. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we learned that eventually, yeah. <laughs> but. Um, so I'm picturing a forge and stuff and you're making, what are you making? Inside? Well, mostly, me at the moment, it's all, it's mostly hammers. I started up a small business called Mad Hammers yeah. and I sell hammers all to blacksmiths and, and, nice, and uh, bladesmiths all over the world, you know. Oh, so so um, but I try and do other things as well. 
you know, ornamental stuff and and, and That's nice that you're art. making tools for other blacksmiths to yeah. do their yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's, yeah. that's yeah. Making so tools to make tools, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. That's yeah, what it is, it's what it's all about. Have yeah. you connected much with, with other um blacksmiths here in Ireland? Because I know of a uh, of of a good few of them all around the country. Yeah, we, we're pretty much one big massive community now, you know. Yeah. We oh, all kind of know each other, you know, and we've that's met nice. up at different times and the Blacksmith Festival. That, yeah. We had one we <laughs> had one there the twenty Fourth and twenty fifth in Bally Longford in, in, in Kerry. Yeah. And wow. it was t about twenty five blacksmiths. We had about twenty four just going and it was a massive success. You know, we had oh. about twelve or thirteen hundred people coming in nice. and out That's or doing cool. days to visit. Do us. you have any wild parties? Yes. Blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> the same weekend. <laughs> the same weekend. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Is there any female blacksmiths in the group? There is. Is there? there is. No, there is. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. And what do you make? Do you make hammers too, no? Um I have done. But what's your thing? Um, I don't really have a setting. Most yeah. of it is be knives and axes and things Class, like that. Yeah, um, yeah. But I'd say, like, uh, not too long ago. You know, Sorry, Jamie, mm. could you just move a little bit closer to the mic? So oh, we yeah. Just yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so not too long ago, like, you would have had, even within a 10-mile radius of here, yeah. you could have had maybe 15 blacksmiths. Yes. You know? Mm. Yeah. And everyone would be going to the blacksmith. And mm. they'll be getting their shoes fixed, their horses done, mm. machinery, little tools they need doing. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much what I do now, except it's more on a global scale. So wow. I'd have people messaging me from around Europe or oh, wow. saying, can you do, just do this little thing for me? Or I need, I need this done. Yeah. It'd be custom work. Like, what? Wow. What's the most bizarre thing you've ever been asked to make? <laughs> you don't really want to ask that question. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, no, I, yeah. I, was, yeah. Um, I mean... Inter a fair amount of a uh, torture gear. Really? Yeah. Wow. Torture. Torture. Medi medieval style. What's that? Gear. People from museums or something are just sort of like. Oh. Yeah. 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 We go with that. We go. We go with that. It's not really your it's concern, is it? Like why people need it? Wasn't, it wasn't. But they use it for? Yeah. The, the a lad who bought an awful, you know, a, a fair amount of this stuff, and there was contraptions that would lock you in certain mm. positions for going back to say slave uh, ships and that That's kind of there. stuff. Mm. And then uh, there was one item there and it would had a big crucifix on top <laughs> and you put your hands inside and there's two oh, kind of things that wind down over. And that was taken from pictures from a museum. Oh, then, then I never heard of him <laughs> after that. And I'm <laughs> just kind of concerned that he's stuck in his face. From, you know. funny he was, <laughs> it's interesting because in, right. in ancient what? Ireland, the forge was, was seen as this, this space of magic and transformation. And, yeah. and um, you know, the, play, the place where, where these raw materials went and, and became something else. And even uh, Bridget, as a as a patroness of of poetry, health, yeah. and the forge, she would also be, you know, no, yeah. Con yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a mad. big connection between that skill and mm. the and the idea of of magic and and, and yeah. transmutation. Yeah, and it yeah. would have been um, there would have been a lot of crossover between you know um, you would have had um, people wondering why steel would do certain things, right. and it was magic, but it's still magic today. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. Why why did you get into the blacksmith then, Jamie? Um, I got into bladesmithing originally. Okay. And then the tools for bladesmithing were expensive, so I thought, right, I'll make the tools and go into tool making. And I just, wow. um, yeah, there's just every aspect of, of blacksmithing mm. and bladesmithing. You know? Yeah. There was a just forge in Two Mile Boris, I think, beside Corcoran's. So that little building was a forge back in the day, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there was uh, even, say, around, around Lachine area. Yeah. I had one in Lachine, um, maybe two in Arlingford, wow. one in Cross Patrick. Yeah, you know, there, there was they were all over the place. I can. Mm. Mm. Wow. There seems to be like a ma a big uh, surge in um, sort of appreciation towards like these old crafts and skills and stuff. Have you seen that yourselves? Like, oh, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. like, you actually seen like you're getting more. You seen more business for yourselves, and you start to see that other blacksmiths are even seeing the same. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's well, really I'd cool. Be, so I'd yeah. be teaching, um, you know, from the forge there. Okay, yeah. Um, I've just seen, I was expecting things to kind of plateau maybe two years ago. Okay, yeah. But it's just every every year there's just more and more interest in it. Like yeah, yeah. More and more people are getting into mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, do you think that's because of the weird torture stuff that, that oh, you're yeah. making? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get, and they're finally yeah. seeing some other use than horseshoes and things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more diverse than you'd think. Yeah. 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 A lot of it too is the, the show of Forge and Fire. Oh, know. yeah. 
that's that's after spurring on a massive interest in it but right. like, everybody wants yeah. to make a knife now you know what i mean yeah to, yeah to make a knife you've got to learn the basics first you know yeah yeah you, you can you can file a knife but to actually forge a knife is, is a massive skill yeah you know? yeah it's kind of mad to watch it happening I, i was invited to a forge not not too long ago to play around and, and look and there was a moment when the blacksmith was was having this 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 piece of steel that was so hot and like flaming itself you know and he was mm. hammering and the sparks and then he turned off the That's lights fast. just for the effects and it looked so you know out of so yeah. otherworldly it was like yeah. and the way how you have that little short time frame to to before Workers. it cools down to to mm. do your beat mm. it's just such a beautiful combination of of um And that, yeah. that's just it. There's so much to learn oh, about it. Yeah. Like it's, it's a science. All the right. different steels, the different heat treats, everything to mm. it. You it looked almost like a choreography, the way he yeah. was, you know, yeah. banging yeah. and putting on the fire yeah. and back. And yeah. that, that, like a yeah. song, almost like a dance. Even just the forge yeah. inside of it, just using a hammer and an anvil, it's not as easy <laughs> as it looks. <laughs> you know, it's, it's yeah. tempo and, and... Right. You know? You're, you're, it's not that hard either. Right? <laughs> 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 Do you know, when... <laughs> when I was um, a lot younger, I used to work at a uh, horse riding stables. So we'd have the, the blacksmith come out with like a mobile kit and stuff every month or so. And the thing that really used <coughs> that to impress me... That would be a farrier. Oh, Very, oh yeah. that's yeah. offensive. Can you, we like, offended can you explain <laughs> the difference than that? Because he always calls himself a smithy. And I don't know if he did other things on the side outside and just did the horseshoes to, you know, bread and butter stuff in the local stables. What's the difference between the farrier and the... The blacksmith. Skill, is it? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, pretty much so, yeah, skill. <laughs> like yeah. a barber well, and a hairdresser. It's just um, farriers would be dealing with um, horseshoes. It's right. specifically just, just for horseshoes, horseshoes, is it? Mm. Now, they, they have amazing skills. They have a different way of swinging a hammer. They have this kind yeah, of it's mad. It's right. They're using different tools, but 90% of the farriers out there could, if you asked them to, could make you a gate. They could, you know, yeah, they could he make definitely a, a did stuff they like could, that, like you know, yeah. He, yeah, from different orders and stuff. And we yeah. always called him Smithy. Like he would have mm. called himself a blacksmith. So yeah. you know, probably we just saw what he did there when he came to the stable. He, he was more old school then, you know, yeah. more modern, he, yeah, modern he, I mean, ways. He says, I'm going back, farrier, yeah, twenty you know, yeah. or twenty five years or so. Yeah. But what used to really impress me then was like, because it'd be freezing cold, and they'd often come really early in the morning, still be dark, and they would have this little old tin kettle. And they'd stick it on the fire, like with the. So they were also making tea while they were doing the horses. <laughs> yeah, I that's thought that's so savvy. Right. Like, I love that. They had a constant supply of tea as well. <laughs> that's the kind of cold <laughs> day did really impress me. That's nice. You, you shoot a horse once, didn't you? No, but I was told a donkey to fuck off. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 that's wow. an old that's one. You had to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were talking about something that I, I've never done blacksmithing, and I still. My heart was breaking, even when you were saying how fragile it could be. You were talking about a crack in a knife, uh, and like you were saying how how long it could work. Like, yeah, would you explain that? Pro just basically what you were saying outside, I thought was really interesting. Like, because you think the steel is so hard, yet you were talking about something so fragile in a sense. Like, well, Jamie probably be best to explain about knives. I could, I uh, yeah, I tend to go on about that side of things. <laughs> it's good, though. So, it's um, interesting. Like, when you add carbon to, to iron, you get steel. Yeah, and. Once you have that, like uh, carbon is a, it's a solution in there, so they don't form a molecule as such. Okay. And you can by just by applying different types of heat, you can do different things with it. You can take one piece of steel, yeah, heat treat it, and you could bend it over your needle, okay, without snapping. You could heat treat it a different way, and it'll flex back, and um, you know, forge it out a different way, and it'll yeah, flex back, yeah. and then take the same piece of steel, and it could be rock hard, and you could literally drop it on the floor and it'd shatter like glass. And what's going on in the process that makes, do you know what's going on that makes one different? Is it like leaving in too long or like what? Yeah, why could that happen or is it just? It's, um, there's a million and one things. Like okay. It's, yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's, um, it's taking the steel and you're taking it into different phases. Okay. Again. So in the same way, uh, can we edit this out if this gets boring now? But no, no, it's, <laughs> it's good. I like it's good. So basically, um, water is water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also yeah. ice, yeah. steam, solid liquid steel gas. Is the same, has different phases. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when you take it in di different phases and depend on how fast you quench it, yeah, you can yeah, apply different uh, material properties to it. 
and that's that. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I, I think that's fascinating. Like that whole, that was the first thing I learned in science was like the, the yeah. ice to water to steam. Mm. Like just because yeah. you change the bonds and it changes the structure and therefore the properties of the material. Yeah. It's probably it's probably yeah. not in the sense like I think I think when we all like our own crafts or whatever, like it, you like I the reason I don't think that's boring is because like if I had never met you, I would have continued and not like being, I would have just seen it as like, and maybe I would have got it, but I, I, a lot of people would probably just see it as someone hitting an anvil with a hammer. Like, mm-hmm. but I always think like, as you said, it's a science to it. Like for something, I don't know, like there's actual physics going on. It's like chemistry. Everything is going on for like, I don't know. I always, I genuinely think that stuff's interesting to people. Um, well, it's an art and it's like, yeah. And it's a science. So. He, yeah. <laughs> um, oh. It's a so little trap door that we have to keep hewing every so often <laughs> oh, yeah. when he gets a bit overexcited. <laughs> yeah. Down under the trap on, door. Up. <laughs> uh, is, was there ever anything though that was so weird you were asked to make where you were just like, I can't do that for you? Not ah. yet. Not yet. Now you've met us, you see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, to think of what would be the yeah. weird we're thing we could ask of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you want me to yeah. do? So we're not recording. <laughs> this is. Um, yeah. Nice. Um, what are you looking to be made, Karen? Well, we, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I I wonder though. Like, um, and I used the only thing I did get something made from a blacksmith before, which was like, uh, you have to check the heat, is it? Yeah. yeah. So what's going on? We've, we're basically heating up the thing outside. Yeah. And uh, okay. For reddening the coals. Reddening the coals. Yeah. It's an incredible um, setup they have out there because I met a good few of us telling the lads earlier, I met yeah. so many people that, 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 that have told me that they want to get into blacksmithing, but they worry so much about the forge space and how, oh, I don't have anywhere to. And this, I have never seen you know, such an efficient yeah. way to carry mm-hmm. it around with you. That's incredible. Well, you and, can uh, even make it as complicated or as simple as you like. So right. generally, you know, like, there's a, m- a hole in the ground with a pipe going into it will do the same right. thing. Oh, that's you're you're adding air to the fuel. That's basically, mm. that's, that's the, the, the principles of it, you know? That's so right. it's away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How's it's it looking out there? Is it ready enough or are we oh, still? Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Will we go and yeah, cool, will we yeah. vacate outside so, and get um, a demo? How do we do this? Yeah, so yeah, okay. We, so you're going to do the... Yeah, yeah, okay. watch, yeah, yeah. Um, bring the mics. Wait, yeah, so yeah, okay, yeah. So basically we'll just go out there and talk then. Yeah. We're going on yeah. location. Yeah, we bring mics as well. On well. location. On location. It'll be edited and shit. <laughs> on location. Yeah. nothing. Yeah. On location. <laughs> Brilliant. That's class. Um, you just cut that off, so you're cooking up another bit of it, is it? Class. So right, what, you've got you've got this. What is antr- uh, anthracite or something? Is it? Anthracite beans, right? Uh, you you blow a load of air into under it to get it cooking, is it? Yeah. Yeah. This is a table that you made up yourselves or whatever. That's cool. So don't touch it. Is what you're telling me. Don't touch it, please. So you're cooking the yolk up then, yeah? Don't yeah. lick it, yeah. Hugh. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't know that. I thought steel was good. I didn't never knew. That's amazing. I didn't know steel was a shit conductor, yeah. That's a dangerous bastard. Whoa. Let's take the hand off you. Yeah. Mark's fire, heating it up to a thousand degrees or something, is it, Mark? What, what's he doing? He's squaring up the what? That's really cool. Is the steel get harder or weaker? Nothing. No. Okay. Low carbon steel, yeah, okay. Joe's axe. Is Joe still waiting for it? A year. Must be a good axe. Is that steel? expensive that rod of steel no much is that rod like that 10 euro yeah everyone's jumping in price isn't it oh yeah with the wow cool is that cigarette part of the process yeah 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 do you need a lot of strength for this crack do you yeah i'm exhausted hey do you get like hypnotized by the fire do you be staring at the fire and i love looking into that oh so no took it to square then after gun and then round yeah just show all the skills man Roger. Roger that. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. This is just a word about Neolithic Halloween. Okay. The ne Neolithic Halloween, brilliant. These views on Halloween are speculative and may be contentious. The evidence to back them up is not available. But the same could be said for all the cultural baggage that surrounds Halloween. Remembering that our culture, however we, we romanticize it as Celtic, is now fundamentally a shopping culture. And the place of the homilies that used to advise us how to live are now largely taken over by adverts on electronic media. Halloween is a festival of the dead, conducted by witches. Witches dressed in black are the priestesses of the Neolithic. They are lunar priestesses of the night. Their companions, bats, cats and owls, are the creatures that are active nocturnally. The druids dressed in white were their successors. They really were Celtic. They were solar daytime priests. Not a cat, bat or owl in sight. You can see the difference between the Jewish culture with its lunar calendar and days which start at dusk and its Roman Christian successor with days that start at dawn. It is not primarily theological. If you base the calendar on the moon, you start observing new moon rising after dusk. If you base it on sunrise, you start observing at dawn. Either way, the year is a cycle, and you can begin it whenever you wish. Halloween or Samhain is a year ending, or a new year festival. Imagine that you were on a Neolithic hunt. The Neolithic was the time of the introduction of agriculture. But for many hundreds of years, there was an overlap with the former Mesolithic hunter-gatherer culture. For a time, men hunted while women farmed small animals or fished or gardened. After a while, the women produced most of the food, but the occasional boar or deer from the hunt remained the prestige food, the Christmas turkey of the day. Here is an odd fact. In Latin, the words for farmer, sailor, and poet are agricola, nauta, and poeta, all with a feminine ending. In a society with multiple sources of food, always more resilient than a society dependent upon a single source of food, the food providers had to direct their energies in different directions at different times of the year. This even lasts into modern times, as in Frerecorn Sunday, a Sunday in July, July for picking bilberries in the hills. The calendar priestesses who lived among the passage mounds were the society's oracles about hunting and gathering seasons, and times for letting out bulls so that new calves coincided with the spring grass. Festivals arose naturally around harvest, like the modern French with the new Beaujolais. Now imagine that you're on a Neolithic boar hunt, and an older member dies of injuries sustained in the hunt, or of natural causes. You have no spades to dig a grave, no matches to light a funeral pyre, the weather is bad, and the available timber is all sodden. It is 50 miles home, and no advantage to cancel the hunt, a source of food, remember, not a sporting past pastime. If you elect to carry the body home, no road, no body bag, no means of embalming the body, no food for a funeral feast, and especially in warm weather, the body may be in poor condition upon arrival and even a health hazard. 
Way back in Irish mythology, the crow is the death symbol. Why the crow? Shallow graves attract wolves and foxes. Even today, if you do not bury a dead calf deep enough, domestic dogs will attempt to dig it up again. Crows suggest a body left out on a scaffold of light timber, where birds can clean off flesh and leave only bone, but out of reach of carnivorous wolves. <coughs> Bones could then be collected and brought home at Halloween for a cremation and a feast of the dead at the end of the year. You do not find churchyard of graves around a passage mound. Many people have imagined a new grain solstice turn of the year. They suppose a Neolithic interest in the calendar of the stars that is related to the planting of crops. Let me tell you, that is an urban legend. Anyone who attempted to sow cereal crops according to the date, as opposed to waiting for suitable weather, would be out of farming pretty quickly. The Neolithic people of the Boyne Valley were a cattle breeding society, even more than the county Meath farmers of today. Or look behind the kitchen door of a Tipperary dairy farm. <coughs> You may find a calendar showing what cow got which bull and when. Perhaps I'm showing my age. It is probably all done online now these days. But you will not find a note so barely today <coughs> in any farm diary. The calendar year is the basis of the church's year. Much of the calendar tradition is repressed by later Christianity because it is so important, so deeply rooted, and so pagan. Pagan is only an old Latin word, paganus, for a country person. Typical culture, as the pale faces would say. <laughs> the modern year is a complex combination of the solar year with its solstices and equinoxes. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. Here we go. With its solstices and equinoxes and the lunar year. The key points of a lunis, lunisolar calendar year, such as the appropriate date for Easter, were controversial over many centuries. As with all sectarian controversy, people became bitterly entrenched in their own point of view. It is nearly forgotten that our own New Year is set at January the 1st, 11 days away from the solstice. That is a lunar date. It falls 12 lunar months, called a lunar year, before the following winter solstice. The Neolithic seasons are better aligned with the natural world. The bitterest weather does not come at winter solstice, but some weeks later. Likewise, the climax vegetation of the year does not arrive <coughs> at the June summer solstice, but in mid-August, some weeks later. I'm sorry. <coughs> the Neolithic year may well have been divided into eight. This leaves four seasons of the year, each of three months, centred on a solstice or an equinox. The winter season, centred on the winter solstice, comprises approximately the Julian months of November, December, January, centred on the solstice, beginning at Halloween, All Souls, and ending on the eve of St. Bridget's Day. Halloween may be despised as a season, like Christmas, as a season for the retailers. Christmas is, of course, profoundly anti-Christian in its current form. It comes not in a pre-Christian reindeer sleigh through the sky, 
but in container ships through Felixstowe, UK. Bright plastic toys from China, accompanied by Brexit documentation in triplicate, <laughs> for further transportation. <laughs> That's good. If Christmas is cancelled, do not blame the elves. <laughs> That's actually... Christmas has become a celebration of consumption. Meanwhile, All Hallows Eve or Halloween is a time when the door is open between the realms of the living and the realms of the recently dead and of the ancestors. Still a spiritual time, even as the retailers struggle to trivialise it. <laughs> It's not certain who the Neolithic Irish were. They were prehistoric, literally, in that they lived before the writing of history began with early Christian analysts. <coughs> But there's no reason to believe that they ever departed from Ireland. Why leave one of the best countries of the world for cattle breeding? They stayed. <laughs> their genes and even the faint remains of their culture and their calendar festivals still survive among us. We do not leave Mother Ireland when we die. We haunt her. Very good. That's actually one of the Brilliant. coolest. <laughs> That's genuinely well one of the like, That's very good. coolest things I've ever... It's so hot in here. Don't yeah, you? of course. <laughs> I never thought of that. I, I thought that. You never it's thought warm, of that. It's warm, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, is it okay done. to stay talking for a minute about it before we finish? Like, yeah. Just to say, because like, it's yeah. honestly one of the coolest That's things I've cool. ever... Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've ever I've ever heard like and yeah Stranger. it's funny because like a lot of this episode we've been talking about that like and yeah the, the sort of that is the bridging of um, the two worlds and I don't know it actually really made me feel like that I love that still alive and I, I yeah I love that we do not leave Ireland. Mother Ireland we, we haunt die, her we haunt her I love it it's really cool thanks a million for sharing that honestly and uh, are you haunting Mother Ireland now <laughs> they, they <laughs> yeah. say to me a crana Yeah. Because it was once a workhouse. Yeah. Oh, was it? I didn't know that. See? Well, well are the, are the, do you ever hear anything here? Meaning strange noises oh, well. in the night. Oh, well, and have you? No. And they say to me, <laughs> is it haunted? And I say, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Fair play. Not yet. That's, That's really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a million for sharing that. When did you write that? Did you write it recently? You're always right. I wrote it this morning. This morning? <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. That's so cool. <gasps> That's amazing. Do you write every day? Because you, you're always saying, like, Hugh's always telling me you've, like, new stuff, like, every, uh, quite often. That's as, like, That's really profound good. as that, like. Yeah. You must uh, g h give us a lot of your stuff and we'll make it into a book or something. <laughs> like, all right, we need to keep yeah. it, um, alive. look after it. Like, alive. You know, mm. alive. alive. But as you said, I suppose it, it's always going to be there anyway, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so that is true as well. We have no, as far as I know, from my research, we have no historical reason to believe that the Neolithic people themselves were necessarily, you mm. know, uh, obliterated or destroyed by any subsequent group. That, like they could have just be continued and 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 yeah, and, and, and gotten absorbed into later cultures that it's came like when over. When does the river become the sea, or when does the like yeah. when did they become us? Yeah. Like when did we like so we're drive part from of them? them? Hopefully, are oh yeah, yeah. there's no reason there's to believe that 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 it was all gone. People, yeah, it was yeah. all gone. Like yeah. we as people now are the product of them. Like it's therefore they are inside us, and it hasn't gone anywhere. The builders of those temples. Yeah. Thanks a million. That was a good way to finish yeah, the show. Yeah, We've the lads um, out the back. Thanks a million. Thank you. Thanks. Roger. Hey. Um, and now we're at the end. <laughs> that was, yeah, that end of our Halloween that was end of uh, We're finishing up now. Yeah. Very good. Uh, that was our Halloween slash Samhain special. Uh, lots going on. Um, I, there's going to be a lot of editing in this and it's going to like you're probably going to watch this and think oh, that seemed pretty normal but it was chaos it was chaos, chaos. absolutely but it, chaos it went incredibly well there was no hauntings nobody got burned that was important the fort, did nobody the get burned yeah yeah nobody got 
uh, um, hay in their eyes or anything. We didn't yeah. set fire to the house. We didn't yeah. set fire to yeah, the house, yeah. the yeah. candle for yeah. the ancestors. Insurance still valid, all that, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> There's a new team in the family yeah. standing there yeah. in the corner. Yeah, what's his name? What was his name? He's um, a big bad player. Oh. Big, can't big bad, big bad. bad. Oh, yeah, Trump. James. Trump. James' Trump. name won. Yeah, big bad um, Trump. <laughs> yeah. Jim's and we, oh, we learned how to make a scarecrow, a knife, uh-huh. and a keyring yeah. all in the one day. And uh, we <laughs> hope you, to. we hope you did too. Yeah. If um, <laughs> we yeah. hope you did too. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we subscribe. will subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. There's that red button down below. If you're listening on Spotify, thanks a million uh, for that too. Uh, yeah, we set up a new. Uh, you probably seen at the start of this episode a new link to our um, Acast like supporter fund um if anyone wants to donate anything at all it's not a subscription it's just like a once off whatever you want it could be euro it could be 10 cent it's up to you it could be nothing um it could just be share the episode here or you could just do nothing and you could go and do whatever you want in life <laughs> perfect because we are not yeah you can do whatever you want in life that's what you can watch do. the podcast yeah 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 watch someone else's um, podcast yeah, exactly. actually unsubscribe yeah, just, just, some really, just some really good ones yeah. some good ones out there yeah yeah uh, we watch <laughs> some good ones <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are some good podcasts out. uh yeah anyway very good like thank all our guests oh yeah if anyone's um well I'll put the link in the description for uh, Jamie and Mark are two blacksmiths we had on a link to um, their uh, if you want to contact them if you're looking for any gates uh, gates knives, ha- hammers yeah. knives or uh, torture, or devices. torture implements or a keyring yeah. yeah. or a keyring yeah the keyring yeah. would be nice I, I would never get keyring. I'd never get the parents a yeah. torture device for like no. Christmas uh, for for <laughs> but you could get them a keyring keyring yeah. yeah yeah, a keyring from keyring uh, Ke- yeah a keyring from keyring that works yeah. um yeah. Anyway, okay. Thanks a million. If you go now, you'll beat the traffic. <laughs> 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 Bye. 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 Thanks a million. Bye. 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 Okay.